What's it dip? in 10? I'm the pasta 10. All these ends, why you motherfuckers got to be? All this cops dip. again. Eat a box of something. I such a little watch with some rocks Show or something. What's it poppin'? What's it poppin'? What's it poppin'? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a highly requested video. I'm doing my everyday makeup tutorial. It's like an everyday glam makeup tutorial. Like I already did my eyebrows and I literally just added some concealer on my lids just to cancel in discoloration and I set it with um airspun powder and guys for foundation I'm going in with the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation, the liquid as well as the stick foundation and guys I, to prep my face I had used my Maybelline primer it's their illuminating primer which I can't seem to find anymore in the drugstore so I think they probably stopped make, making it and I'm like almost out but anyways I'm just adding the foundation all over my skin using this blending brush and the spots here and there I'm trying to use a stick foundation to like fill it in you don't have to do this you can use either one but I was just trying to be extra to use both at the same time and I'm legit just using this Sephora foundation brush and I'm just like spreading the foundation out then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to smooth everything out and guys to prep my face I literally just moisturize and then I add my primer and I just add a little bit of the Mario spray just to hydrate my skin and then I go in with my foundation and I'm just dabbing the foundation in and blending everything once the foundation is set guys I'm going in with my LA Girl Concealer. I usually use the Maybelline Instant Age One Concealer, but I'm totally out and it's not available the shade that I want at the pharmacy close to me. I have to go to Target, which is a little trip for me. So I'm just using my LA Girl just to fill in and I really prefer the Maybelline, but we're using what we have. So I'm using um the shade medium, not medium beige. I'm using, uh oh my God. I'm gonna remember soon and tell you guys, but for the contour, I'm using Beautiful Bronze and I'm just like outlining my face just to give us some definition. Why am I smacking? Anywho, so I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender again and I'm just gonna blend my concealer out and also I'm going to blend my contour out. Out. and if you guys need like a detailed contour and highlighting video just leave me a comment down below and let me know if that would be something that you want to see where I go step by step in detail and guys at the beginning of this video I had my brows like in the beginning and then I'm like you know what I don't need to do another brow video or whatever so I just deleted that part like always remember guys you're brows are like a sister's stained freaking twins some days you'll have snatched brows other days you, you know they just gonna take what you give like today i think one of my brows is bigger than one but who cares we still found a slay that's about it and <laughs> i'm going in with my real techniques um sculpting brush and i'm just using that to blend my contour out this is what i use all the time to blend my contour out because of the shape it really makes it easy and it fits in the right places and I'm just blending my contour out and then I'm going to get, take my beauty blender and just to put the highlight into the contour seamlessly and yeah I don't know why my eyes always bulge open like that. I guess I'm trying to see in this little ass mirror and y'all know I hardly I don't see too well. But yeah, ignore my bulging eyes. I look like what you call it? Like my tithered. That's what it's called. That damn movie that came out the other day. It with their eyes. That's how they be looking with their eyes bulging and be looking weird. But yes, let's get back to the video. Oh guys, I went in again with another round of concealer because I really think that the LA girl concealer the consistency isn't very full like when they just came out like years ago it was really full coverage now I think it's more like watered down so I went in with another 
round of concealer just so my under eyes would look you know not so dead and then I went in with my iris blend powder and I'm just using that to set my under eyes and I'm not baking I literally just pressed the powder into my skin I always do this I really don't feel that I need to bake uh, when I press the powder into my skin it sets everything in place it locks it into me a lot better and it makes my face stay like all day so this is what I do you don't have to do this you can bake if you want to but this is how I do it I'm just setting all the places that I highlighted And I'm going in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm just using that to set the areas that I had liquid contoured previously and this will just give the face like you know a nice lift and it'll give the face some dimension, dimension, whichever. <laughs> I'm going in with the same beautiful bronze shade and I'm just adding some you know contour to the sides of my nose and I'm taking another real techniques eyeshadow brush and I'm just blending that contour out I really be using these eyeshadow brushes for every other thing besides putting on eyeshadow but I really like these real technique brushes I've had them for maybe like two years and they're still you know together they're really good brushes if you're trying to get brushes you can get real technique brushes because they last I've had these for like two years and I wash them a lot and the handles don't come apart and they're still very full and they still get the job done so now we don't look so bland now we look a little bit chiseled and we're face well we're face wow and our face is coming together and I literally just sprayed with some of my Mario spray to just melt some of that powder into my skin because we were looking kind of powdery and I'm going in with some blush and I'm using like two shades of the blush from this BH Cosmetics Glamorous blush palette and I literally just go in and I just like dab the brush and everything and put it on so I don't know what color this is but I, I just dab it in like two of the colors and then I dab it in another color and for highlight I was trying to use this LA Girl strobe light cream not cream the strobe light powder that I bought previously and I used it in the previous video but it wasn't really giving me the look that I wanted so um I had to go in with another highlight like it, it wasn't really giving me the vibe that I felt that I was going for so we're gonna go in with another highlighter and this highlighter is from this palette this BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette and this is like an oldie but goodie do you see how done that is I use that a lot okay like this palette was worth it and I still use it it's old like really old but I still be using it and it still gets the job done and do you see the difference like now we find a like glow glow like I yeah there's a big difference so I'm just highlighting the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and all those other areas that you know we highlight the usual places and I'm putting a little highlight above my eyebrows 
and then I'm gonna go in with some liner and for my wing liner as of late I've been using this Ebon New York gel liner and I use it with a angled brush to kind of create like a skeleton off of my wing and then I fill it in and afterwards I go in with my with my NYX um, my NYX liquid liner and that just gives me the nice bold wing that I want because the gel liner by itself isn't very like out there I don't know how to explain it but it isn't very oomph or whatever but when I use the NYX atop it it gives me the look that I want and you're gonna see how the NYX takes the wing liner up a whole notch the gel doesn't give me that but it provides the perfect like you know skeleton outline so you can get your wing on so if you're like not that great at wing liner you can use a gel liner with an angled brush to practice with and it'll make it easier to create a wing and then you could probably go in with one of those that has like less control but yeah enough rambling but that's what I'm doing and for this look there's no shadows this is like everyday makeup look but at the same time you look snatched you look glam you can wear this look like anywhere and it it's not too much and it's perfect for every day and you can take this look up a notch you could probably add a pop of color on the lips or something and this look can go over like from like regular to like glam glam because you could do really big lashes or something to take it up a notch but I really like this look and this look is what I use for almost all my pictures that I put on like my everyday Instagram pictures this is what I use if I'm not doing like a colored look this is my makeup look that I use all the time so for everyone that's been asking me what's the makeup look like give us a video this is it and I literally just lined my lips and just added like clear gloss like this is a dollar gloss that I got from the beauty supply store nothing crazy this is literally the look that I rock all the time on Instagram on my Instagram pictures this is the look if I'm not trying to do like a colored shadow this is my look all the time I swear to you in all my pictures I would probably just add like a colored lipstick so it looks different but this is the base of everything so now you know and yeah I hope this video was helpful to you I hope that y'all learned something and I hope that you know you can get your everyday look on like just try what try what works for you you could do this look without lashes with lashes whatever makes you more comfortable like yeah and I'm just adding my little mascara to my bottom lashes and that's it. My look is finished and we is bomb. You could go out like this. Like I was feeling myself. I was trying to go out with my hair tied just like that. Like you could pop your wig on sis. You could go out just like this. You could do whatever. You could rock a hat, whatever. Because your face is like beat. Like you see what I'm saying? Up close. Like this is fire. Anywho. And this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll definitely, definitely catch you in my next one. I love you guys so much. Thank you for rocking with me. Keep rocking with your girl. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Turn your post notifications on. And if you haven't subscribed already, like, subscribe, sis. What you waiting on? Bye. I love you guys so much. Mwah.